Today, we're going to create this layered text effect. Now, before we get started, I have opened up my YouTube channel memberships. So if you want to take a look and join one of my membership levels, know that with certain levels, you get certain perks. One of the perks is a private Facebook group where I give personal feedback and help my learners with any struggles they are having with Canva. If you're interested in joining, click that join button and see the different levels and join. Now let's get started. So I'm going to start off by creating a custom design. I'm going to go to create a design and I'll go to custom and I'm going to key in or use 19 20 by 10 80. Now, if you don't have this recent design, obviously you can come up to width and key in 1920 by 1080, which is the size of a video page. So this is my workspace. I'm going to start by placing any text on my workspace. So I'll just add a text box. And I'm going to make that a little bit bigger so you can um, see that. And then I'll just take the sides and I'll expand that. In here, I'm going to type layered text. Now I'm going to change the font. I'm going to come up here to my floating toolbar and I'm going to go to the side here and I'm going to use a font called Candice. Now I'm going to take this text and I'm going to change the font color to a dark blue. And I'm going to come back to text effects. So I'll just click that and go to effects. And on the side, there is an effect called echo. I'm going to select echo. And as you can see, I'm just going to make this larger. When we use echo, we're getting this layered shadow effect on our text. So I'm just going to click it one more time and go back into effects. And I'm going to go into customize echo. And just so that you can see what the options are, we can customize the offset. So as I make it larger, it the offset becomes larger between the, the shadows. If I make it smaller, that'll make the offset tighter to the front facing text. So I'll just leave it like that. And then we also get to select the direction. So you can select the direction of that shadow. So I'm going to leave it like that. And also we can change the color. So if we come in here and we change that color and maybe we want to make it uh, a lighter shade of blue. So I'll just come up here and change it like that. Okay, so once you're happy with creating that shadow, we're going to do one more thing. We're going to download this design and we're going to apply a border. So I'm going to grab this and to make things a little quicker, I'm going to go to my apps and I'm going to search for an app called Design to image. So here it is. And what design to image does is it takes your design on your workspace and converts it automatically to an image without you having to download it and re-upload. So here it is. I'm going to select transparent PNG and I'm going to export and it's going to bring it back into my workspace. So all I have to do is click it. And that's going to come back into my work space like this. So here it is right here. So now we're going to take this image because now it's con converted into an image. And we're going to apply a shadow, an outline shadow. So I'm going to take this text and I'm going to go to edit. I'm going to select shadow and I'm going to select outline. And that's what that looks like right here. 
Now I'm just going to close this and, but I'm going to go back in there and I'm going to change that shadow to a white shadow. So I'll come back up here and I'll go back into shadow. And right here we have the option to customize that color. So I'm just going to change that to white. Now we, we can change it to a gray, but I'm going to change it to a white. And I'm going to now change the color of my background. So I'll change the color of my background to a gray, just so that you can see that white effect. Now I'm going to create an, another page and I'll just show you one more thing on how to add a second shadow, which is essentially the same technique. So I'm going to take this and I'm going to create another page and I'm just going to get rid of this and I'm going to bring that up here like this. And I'm going to go back into that app that I used, which is design to image. So I'll come back up here, design to image, and I'm going to convert this image again. And again, I'm going to select transparent background. And of course you have to select only that one page because it doesn't do two pages at the same time. So let me just select transparent there and export this. And now I'll add it back onto my desktop. So here it is. So now we're going to add one more shadow effect to this. So I'll go into edit. I'll come down to shadow and I'm going to select a glow. And that's now going to create that glow effect in behind my shadow. So let's go back to our workspace and let's change this background to a pink background. Uh, we can even change it to a white background. Okay, so here you can see the actual difference between the two um, objects. Now, um, this one had that white effect. I know you can't see it right now, so let's um, see if we can just change that to gray. And so you can see it's got that white effect, but over here we've got this one with that shadow effect. Um, so let's see if we can just modify this. So let's go back into shadow. We can also determine the color of our shadow. So if you don't like that black, you can also change the color to a uh, lighter shade of gray like that or you can even make it red like that and make it pop. I hope you learned something from this tutorial. If you did, don't forget to press that like button and subscribe so that you're first to be notified when new content comes out. For now, my friends, I will say bye-bye.